He is the co-host of the fantastic show, The Odd Couple. <laughs> and he from Salam filling in for him, doing an awesome job. Wow. He's also a Baseball Hall of Fame voter. Mr. Rob Parker, what up, bro? Yo, yo, what up? How you guys doing tonight? We good, man. How you doing? I'm, I'm pissed off like a lot of other baseball fans around America. Well, I heard you're blocking people left and right on Twitter. Is that right? Well, it's my Twitter, <laughs> and I'll block if I want to. It's my Twitter, <laughs> and I'll block if I All want right, to. All right, so you're upset because, I mean, Barry Bonds and Roger Clemens, let, let's start here. They're not in the Hall of Fame. Will they get in on the Veterans I know you're not fond of the Veterans Committee, but that maybe they can yeah. save these two. Will they get in on that, or the vets are going to be like, oh, no, they cheated? You know, you know what? I don't know, because if you have ex-players who are against the steroid guys, and you got to be, you got to get 12 out of 16 votes, right, in order to get in. And it's made up of former players, former executives, some sports writers, so I think there's only like four writers involved, you know, and then some, it just depends. But some other people with some less credentials have gotten in. But, but I really thought, and this is what bothers me, is I really thought that the BBWAA would get it right on their 10th and final year. They, they ticked up to 66% and 65%, uh, 66 for Bond, 65 for Clement, but you need 75. So, I, I, I think we got it wrong. I, I, you know me. I love the BBWAA. I have a lot of respect for it. Chris, I've talked to you many times about, you know, how they voted for Bonds when he didn't treat us that well, you know. Right. So I always thought that they, they were different. I mean, that, that organization, just for some, some insight, uh, our first black member of the BBWAA was 1947. This is 20 years before civil rights that, that a black man was allowed to be into the, you know, the baseball right, writers organization, right, right. Wendell Smith. And then they voted for Jackie Robinson as rookie of the year yep. in 1947. And remember, there were no black players, right? And, and, and they still voted for him. So I, I have a lot of respect for the BBWAA, but we got it wrong. We got those two guys belong in the Hall of Fame. Yeah, I, we were talking uh, earlier last hour about the the way I look at it, Rob, and, and you can speak to this, is Barry Bonds, Sammy Sosa, Mark McGuire, they saved baseball. No doubt. Like we like the, the, the flat out, whatever you want to say, without them, baseball would have been in serious trouble because the NFL was more popular than ever. Basket NBA was coming along and no one was even going to the baseball games. No doubt. And See, from my, I, I'm ahead. with you on that. That's how important those guys were. Uh, and you remember back then and Chris, you do too. ESPN used to cut in to no matter what was on yep. for every at bat. Oh yeah. For, oh, for it was McGuire and Sosa. It didn't matter right. what was on. That's how big it was. Where, where is that now? Right? So when you when you start voting for these guys who were great, Barry, I, I said it before, Barry Bonds was a Hall of Famer prior to yeah, any destroyed uh, 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 allegations or anything like that. But those guys taking it on their shoulders to save baseball, a game that they love, brought it back to the forefront. And you don't reward them. Right, like so, I you get, right. I, I get what you're saying, but steroids was all over baseball, right? And they're not the only ones. No, and that's the other problem. And, and and the other thing too is people are like, wait a minute. So there were always talk about Pudge Rodriguez. He's in the Hall of Fame. There were rumors about Mike Piazza and yep. and his steroid use. He's in the Hall of Fame. Uh, Jeff Bagwell played for the Astros. His name always came up. He's in the Hall of Fame but you're keeping out two of the greatest players who ever played the game, it's just lunacy. Well, it's let's get to Ortiz. I mean, he actually, I mean, did he fail the test? Did he not? He failed right. it, well, then they, they said it wasn't him. Now, Chris. Right. right. They, so, right. How, I mean, that's, I assume that's one of the big things that upset you too, is that at the very least, like, I agree, those guys should be in the Hall of Fame. But they're not even showing consistency. Right. If you're voting in Big Poppy on his first try. And Pudge on his first try, yep. right, who was in the Conseco book. 
Chris, and I was in Detroit. I was covering the Tigers when he was on the team after all that came out. And then the next year he came in to, to spring training, he lost 40 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder how. It's wow. just it's right. no, it's, it's no consistency. Um, you know, they didn't even ban steroids until '91, and then they didn't even test until 2003. Like, how do you ban something but don't test for it? For don't uh, test for it, 100. percent Right and for 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 uh, a, a baker's dozens of years. Like yeah. to me, they they were never really serious about taking it out of the game. If so. I always said, if you really want to stop somebody from doing something, then void the money. Yep. yep. Void the, you si- you sign that. a 10-year, $300 million contract, yep. the next year you get pop for steroids, wham, void. Never no, happened. Right? And so, they're not, to me, it's not really, they're not really taking it that serious. Only when it comes to Hall of Fame voting. Right, right. And, that, and they say, you know, like some of the guys were saying that people were hurt that Bonds broke, you know, Hank Aaron's record and whatnot, and they're holding it against him. And I just think it's wrong. I, I really do. Uh, Barry Bonds is one of the greatest players we ever saw. I don't He's think anybody the greatest, ever watched I think him. We've uh, ever of seen. course, now he wasn't very I mean, nice. The, He's not one of the, the nicest. But, He's not one of right. the nicest players. That I, that no. has a, that has a lot to do. Do you with think it, that's so. is that Rob? I mean, and we talked about this. Yeah, they voted him uh, MVP seven times, despite the way he treated the media. But could there be uh, any sort of media back? Like, could that be a part of this? Because it's like, man, you were a jerk, and and we know you use PEDs. Right. Nah, you you know we punish you. It could you. be. You know what? It could be, Chris, uh, that 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 finally boiled over because it didn't seem to matter. You know, during his playing days, right? But maybe this was the last chance to like stick it to him, and not enough people. He fell thirty five, thirty six votes short. Which is sinful, but I, I'm 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 definitely bummed out today just because I think they belong there. If I really didn't believe that they were Hall of Famers or great players, and it was all juice induced, I I would be the first to say it. If I really didn't believe it, but I believe those guys belong. So it's a bummer for a lot of baseball fans, but we'll pull through it and move forward. And um, and this this know. won't. I mean, there's a part of me that I'm against logic. That feels like well somehow some way they're gonna they're gonna end up in the Hall of Fame, but yeah, it, there could. really is. I mean, what do you? Th- I mean, and, you know, outside of the vets committee, if they get rejected no, by the, the veterans that's the committee, only way. like yeah, there's that's the only you don't way. think there'll be any come to Jesus moment for the the BBWA and you no. know all like it, it no, won't. We're done. We're done with that, Chris. We, the writers have nothing to do with it uh, anymore. So it's just the veterans committee, and that comes up in December. So that's soon, like, like you know, this, this December 2022. So that'll be their next chance, and they'll probably be on that ballot. And you saw the list of people, like five or six guys got in this past Christmas. So right, right. it's a, a lot of guys. You put ten people on the list, and I think – Do they just have one shot? Uh, I don't how know. How many years? One shot. That, yeah, that I don't know how many times you could be nominated. That I don't know. Good question. All right. All right. All right. All right. Well, look, you got a show to do later tonight. Uh, enjoy it. And um, yes. what is it and called? I had a lot of fun. They, they, it was a lot of fun on MLB Network, screaming at everybody, getting everybody's <laughs> panties in a bunch. So it was, it was a blast. Well, you know, I, I never missed the MLB Network. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> <laughs> that is our man, Rob Parker, host of The Eye Couple. He'll be back tomorrow.